take a look again. We're comparing the KJV 1611 Bible to new versions, NIV, ESV, NLT, and New King James Version of the Bible, and how these Bibles have been changed over the years, at least if nothing else for money, but more than likely for Satan. Satan's uses to get rid of important verses. This is part two. I did do a part one. If you're near the Bread of Life Watchman channel, subscribe, give a thumbs up, hit the like button, and would like to have you join us. Uh, leave your prayers or your comments below in the box. Also join us on bloodchurch.org, bloodchurch.org, and you can send me emails um, and contact me on that site as well. So, taking a look at one of my favorite verses, 2 Timothy 2.15 in the King James uh, Version of the Bible, the Bible commands us to study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. This is one of the only places that you're to study and to rightly divide the word of truth. It's it's really, rightly dividing is not is is very important, and to study is is mentioned here. That's a, that's a command from God. And the mo modern versions replace study with, with something else. We're going to take a look at that. Let's take a look at the NIV. So, the NIV will change 2 Timothy 2.15 to start out instead of saying study, it'll say do your best to present yourself to God as one approved. And then it will continue a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Okay, so much different than um, the KJV. It doesn't show rightly divide the word of truth. It says handles. It also does, it says do your best to present well, you know, God, you know, shucky darn, I can just try, and if I don't, if I don't do a good job, oh well. That's what this shows you. Where the Bible, when the KJV, the original version, commands us to study. You know, you're to study so you can be not ashamed. Not just do your best so you're not ashamed. And the new, and um, you know, the NLT does does the same thing. It's actually the exact same. So I'm not gonna. I'm not going to show that. The ESV, let's see what it says. It's a little bit different than the NLT and the NIV. The English Standard Version of 2 Timothy 2.15. Again, do your best to present yourself to God as, as one approved, a worker who who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Again, gets rid of the word dividing, which is important. And it says, do your best. So again, it's, a, it's you know, do your best. And the New King James Version says, be diligent. Again, no, it takes the word study out. So again, you know, changes the message. And... Um, yeah, you know, this is an important verse in the Bible. And so that's why it's important to use the King James Version of the Bible. All right, let's take a look at another at another verse. Let's take a look at 1 Thessalonians 5.22. Um, it's an important verse in, in terms of your spiritual life, your spiritual, to, to spiritually pay attention to what's going on around you. So again, 1 Thessalonians 5.22, the King James Version of the Bible, it reads, abstain from all appearance of evil. So an appearance of evil could be something that, you know, you see that looks evil. You can't tell if it's evil, but it might look evil. Um, you're to abstain from anything that even appears to be evil, not that is evil. So let's take a look at the NLT and the NIV in this case are the same. So we can, we can just pick one of them. We'll pick the NLT this time. For 1 Thessalonians 5.22, and the NLT, the New Living Translation, reads, Stay away from every kind of evil. So, every kind of evil, but it doesn't tell you to look for the appearance of evil. Even anything that appears to be evil. It's a much deeper, deeper thing. Alright, the ESV says, abstain from every form of evil. 
And the New King James Version also says the same, abstain from every form of evil. And again, taking the word appearance out of it. What about demonic attacks? Do you think that, um, you know, that could be important if you're under them on how to deal with it? The King James Version, the only verse that shows you what to do about a demonic attack is found here at Mark 9, 29. So if you're dealing with this in your life, this would be important to you. And the King James Version of the Bible reads, And he said unto them, This kind, this kind, so it was a special sort of evil spirit, can come forth by nothing, but but by can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. So if you look at verse 28, let's just go read the full chapter for a sec. So you can see the context. And when he came into the house, his disciples asked him privately, what, why could not we cast him out? Right, so it's, it's definitely talking about casting, casting him out. And so it's by prayer and fasting. Both, it's important to have both. That's the key. If we look at the NLT, we'll just look at the ESV first. Found that one first. And he said unto them, this, ki this kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer. I don't see the word fasting. Now it does say in a footnote, some manuscripts add and fasting. So the ESV, that just makes itself look bad. Like it, it's not even the, the real, at least it gives you a chance to see that. But it's horrible. All right, the, the, the New International Version. He replied, this kind can come out only by prayer. And again, in the footnote, it's going to reference something different. It's going to reference something different. The NLT... New Living Translation, Jesus replied, This kind can be cast out only by prayer. Again, footnotes make it look horrible. And they're not, they're not telling you the truth here. It's not telling you the truth here. It's by prayer and by fasting, according to the King James Version of the Bible. All right, let's take a look. That's demon possession. That's really important to know how to handle that. Let's take a look at Matthew 17, 21, and we'll... We'll end it here. The King James Version of the Bible at Matthew 17, 21 reads, How bit this kind goeth not out by prayer and fasting. So this is about uh, demonic attacks again, and this is the only verse dealing with it. Um, the NLT, if you search it, will have no results found for this verse. So it's removed it. The NIV... See what the NIV does. All right, it removes it, just like, just like the NLT, but it does put a footnote, and it references Mark nine twenty nine. But if you go to nine twenty nine in the NIV, you're gonna, you're not gonna see fasting. It's just gonna talk about prayer. So again, a big flaw. The ESV, no results found. So. You know, bottom line is if you're dealing with demonic attack or possession, you don't know the correct way of prayer and fasting to cast out these these evil spirits and entities. No, you simply don't have the truth. It just says prayer. And again, this, my friend, is why it's important, so important, to have the Word of God, the proper Word of God, the unchanged, originally translated English version, and not go with any of these new modern Bibles. The KJV is the authorized version. God bless and have a great day. Hit the like button on the way out.